What's up guys? We are back with the CRF150R. This thing is not looking too pretty. Got all the plastics off the bike. Got the gas tank off. This thing's ready for some head work. You can see that a valve actually broke the tip of it. We had to um, take the spring and stuff out. So as you can see, it's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, dude. So we have all the parts right here from the top end. Apparently what happened was one of the literal buckets exploded into a billion pieces. Got the cam, got these little rocker thingies. Man, I wonder when these parts are gonna get here. What the? What the heck? Well, looks like we got some mail. Thanks, random mini bike rider. All right, guys. Well, we just got some mail from the uh, mini bike rider, so. All right, guys, it's currently the next day. It got a little dark last night, so decided to take a break and uh, continue on today. So Ethan's got the pit bike. He's gonna take it for a ride. Thing absolutely rips <laughs> still have the box for it right here but anyway guys we're gonna get back into this project so we got the box right here with all the parts in it I'm assuming came from Babbitt's parts house they got a bunch of OEM parts and they got what we need to fix all of this so yeah let's get into it Let's see what we got. So first off, we got the cam holder. Cam holder. All right. This is the part to replace this broken one. You guys saw the gash from earlier. This thing is going to be a worthy replacement. Next up is exhaust valve. Valve. So the old valve, we don't have it right here. It's actually here in the bike. I already showed you guys this one, the top is broken off. It's not looking good, so needed to re replace that. And then after that we have, uh, what is that? The uh, spring retainer, this thing that has the shim in it. So you see the old one is um, literally flattened, <laughs> and that happened because the uh, bucket it was riding on actually, you know, it disintegrated, and so, uh, that was riding on the lobe. This is what was riding on the cam, so fun. After that, we got brand new, new bucket. bucket. All right, so this bucket replaces the one that is non-existent. Because, uh, yeah, we've been over that. We got two retaining clips. Okay, good stuff. And the shims. two shims. Cool, that's all we need. Yep. Now that we have all the parts we need, it's gonna be a long night of rebuilding. Oh, four strokes. Yeah, 
I like that taste. New versus old. That's it. You think it looks good? Yep. All right, hammer not advised. Don't try this at home. We are not trained professionals. So as you guys saw from the last oh, stupid thing, gosh dang it, why is it so stupid? So as you guys saw from the last video, took some hammer strength to get that uh, camshaft in. Oh, boom. Um, he just got the C-clip in. Yep, so we just got the retaining clip in. This, uh, this cam isn't going anywhere. Just got the retaining clip in. Perfect. The brand new cam holder. Ready to rip. Looks prime. So with all that said and done, we got these valve rockers we gotta put in. Simple process, just gotta, you know, take these screws out and put them in here. So, let's get it done. All right, making a good bit of progress on the cam. Got the rockers in, got the camshaft assembled, so now we gotta put the cam gear on, time it correctly, put the valve in the bike. Now, where's the valve? Right here. Get the bucket in, get everything all assembled, and uh, we could be golden, so let's hope for the best. All right, we got the light set up. We got the top end all exposed. You're gonna get the head off. Ethan's getting a uh, a size for that one bolt there. Other than that, we're gonna get the head off, get the valve in, and then we'll go from there, so. Yep. Yeah, you gotta get the peak. There you go, there you go. Just pull the head up. Okay. A little bit of technical difficulties here. Yep. Got to take the radiator off just to get the head off. Well, I might be able to do that. Man, your arm is such a nice shadow. Uh-huh. <laughs> Got a light up here for a reason. Need the lighting. All right. Put you all back on the ramp. Who cares? Come on. Come on. Well, this one's out of the way, so... Progress has been made. All right, guys, we just got the head out. Um, 
that one valve that's been giving us an issue, sticking out a little bit. Got to take that out. Otherwise, it looks pretty solid. Looks like all we got to do is get that new valve in there and get all the springs and stuff hooked up and we shouldn't have an issue. So we're going to assume that that's the stock look. Um, there's no damage on the head, so. Now we're gonna use a tool called a spring compressor to get this valve down so we can get these um, little pins in there. Our first valve ever. That is insane, dude. Man, we did it, dude. Let's see if we can get this thing running. All right, man, get that fresh heel on. See the, the shims are already in the buckets. Nice. Everything on this is brand new. This is basically a top-end rebuild, if that's what you call it on four strokes. Didn't even oh. pay for labor, because it was all us. Yep. Do it at home, kids. It's a lot cheaper. Especially if you don't have a job. <sighs> pretty derpy, y'all. <laughs> is that in? Man, that's crispy! Yeah. Over, man. yeah, hardest part's over. We're gonna go ahead and get this head on, get the tip of it on, assemble the bike, and get back with y'all then. Don't wanna bore you with just reassembling it. You already saw us take it apart, so. All right, so what are we up to here? Finalizing the build. Camshaft's going in. There's Dad. Hey. Um, final stretch pretty much, we got the cam on, cam gear, the chain, it's a top deck. That sounds like a race bike. Yeah, that's, that's how 150Rs sound. definitely got some compression now. Got you got oil so everywhere oil. man. <laughs> Alright guys, so um, we just got the thing timed. Everything is all tightened. It's all tight. You can see that that uh, exhaust valve right there opening up, right there, just a little bit. Get that Unicam on. It's looking back to how it was the first video. Everything on the bike. It's pretty much good to go. Just getting the um, the fuel tank hooked up. Fuel is on. Make sure it has gas. Not, not enough to start, I don't think. Rock, paper, scissors, we'll see who gets to crank it over first. Taking the video and everything. Alright, first start up with the 2007 CR50 RP. This is scary. We really just released. put the new valve in it and everything's back together. Let's see if it she runs. Oh my god. It's gonna run. Wow, this is so <laughs> exciting. Give it some choke. So it's not cranking over. We're gonna have to look into it tomorrow because it's um, it's 10:30 at night. Is it that late? It's a school night. Yeah, it's 10:45, and we got to get to bed. We've been working on this bike for six hours, so we'll give it a rest, um, diagnose it more tomorrow, and then finish up the video for y'all. So, all right, guys, it's currently the next day. Getting this thing rebuilt has been a three-day project so far, um, but yeah, it should be fine at this point. We got everything mounted up. 
You got the head on, has compression. It's got throttle. So we're gonna pull it out and see if it'll run. All right. Hmm. You think we should bump it? Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna try bumping it down the road here. Um, kind of sketchy, and I know some of y'all probably don't don't like doing that, but the tires are pretty bald in the back anyway, so it really won't make any difference. Just give me a push. All right, I'll give you a push. Oh. Oh! It wants to go. Bring it back up. All right, let me try it out this time. Hold on, one more. Okay. Come on. Oh, that's not fair, man. I want to try it. It sounds pretty healthy, to be honest. It's basically running. It's running, guys. Oh my gosh. Dude, it ran. Sounds pretty clanky. And it only runs when you put the throttle like crazy. All right, well, I want to try it. Try it off choke. All right, here, let me pass the camera to you. It seemed like it ran a little better off choke, but it died. All right. I mean, does it, we just probably need to break it in. You know? It sounds really clanky. The auto decompression. That's what it is. No, but it shouldn't stay open like that. Yeah. May have to adjust something, but Alright, here goes. So well, it definitely runs. Not well, but it still runs. I'd say that's a success so far. Do I need to clean the carb? Yep. All right. Sound like rich? Um, I don't know. It's it's weird. We don't mess with four strokes very often, so it's kind of hard to know what it is. But I 
I mean, it runs. Doesn't run well, but it runs. Yeah, and maybe even bring it up here and let it idle. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Ah, uh, we need to do something about that. What do you think? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> or the cam is too tight. Yeah. So, um, it's just going to need a little more tinkering with the motor. <sighs> Alright, well. We got plenty more videos on the way for you guys. Got the pitter over there, haven't even showed you it yet. Future videos coming soon. We got this thing running, which is pretty good for our first four stroke rebuild. So um, we're just gonna dig into this thing a little further. Maybe open up the head again, see what the problem is. Get back with you guys with another video later on. So uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, of course. And, uh, and we'll see you in the next one.